Tonight, a father is heartbroken after losing his son in a fiery pileup this morning. And to make it worse, troopers say the driver who caused this admitted that he was driving drunk and killed somebody. Troopers say the driver was speeding, slammed into a car at the corner of Universal Boulevard and Destination Parkway in Orlando, causing that car to catch fire and slam into two other cars. New Six's Clay Lepard is there live tonight. And Clay, you talk to the man's father. Eric, we did, and he said his son was loved by so many. In fact, there's actually some balloons and flowers here at this intersection to honor 26-year-old Matthew Pashuko, who troopers say died after his car was rear-ended by a drunk driver. An amazing son and husband, talented in drawing, especially cartoons. That's how family described 26-year-old Matthew Pashuko to News 6. Pashuko was killed in a crash early this morning along Universal Boulevard. Burn marks still show where his car once was. According to Florida Highway Patrol, Pashuko was stopped at a red light at around 2.30 when a white Mercedes slammed into the back of his sedan. That Mercedes pushed Pashuko's car into two other cars and then caused it to catch on fire. Other drivers were able to pull Pashuko from the burning car, but he had already died. Troopers say the driver of that white Mercedes fled the area and was ultimately found outside the nearby Rosen Shingle Creek Hotel, visibly drunk. Yamil Salzar Rodriguez has been charged with DUI manslaughter and leaving the scene of a deadly crash. Troopers say Rodriguez had to be taken to a hospital where he repeatedly said, quote, I shouldn't have been driving drunk. FHP also says the suspect called his mother and told her in Spanish, quote, I was drunk and I killed someone. Rodriguez is due to face a judge Sunday morning. And Orange County deputies are reminding everyone to designate a sober driver as they'll be on the lookout this weekend for drunk or otherwise impaired drivers. In Orange County, Clay Lepard, News 6.